ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो शिर्षिभ्यो महद्भ्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलोरित प्रज्ञान प्रत्यको ब्रह्मवाहमस्म ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी नारायण पद्म भूम वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुकंगौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्रमथ शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्यमसा पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तंतोटक वार्तिकुरू सतत आनतस्मी श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणालयकुणी नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव भादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मी मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहना सहनौन सह वीर वह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा वह ओं शांशाशा यद्रह्म गोचर विचित्रतम प्रभाव संसार धीजनित दुखम भूजन से यद्रह्म धीजनित सौख्यम भूचत से तम रुक्मिणी सहित नमा यम हारुणिक शरण गति गिरीसहोदर महात्म तमहमाशु हरि परमाश्रे जनक जाति श्रीधर सो लास्ट टाइम वी लुक डैट टीका अर्थवाद वाक्य रेव स्प्लिट स्क्रीन वी ऑलरेडी हैव स्प्लिट स्क्रीन थैंक यू so the mula is on the uh, mean vyakhya is on the top and then we have purnanandi on the bottom so you can see a split screen here unfortunately i can't zoom in further more than this in this app um, is it uh, legible yes yeah. okay so um pravin ji wait a minute yeah can you split the screen side by side will be very small to read sir side by side makes no sense because it will be very small to read you will see the entire page moreover so it will be uh, uh, worse than this okay so okay so let's uh, let's move on with this uh, and uh, what we are looking at is um, so what what happened thus far so just as a recap we saw that uh, अमृतत्व कामेन वेदांत वाक्यी एव विचारह कर्तव्या सो विचारह कर्तव्या वेदांत वाक्यी एव कर्तव्या एंड इट्स अ काम्य विधि नॉट अ काम्य कर्म काम्य विधि बिकॉज वन हैज कामा टुवर्ड्स अमृतत्व एंड दिस इज अ फैक्ट फॉर एवरी वन नोइंगली और अनोइंगली एवरी वन इज लुकिंग फॉर दिस एम आनंद सेम आनंद विच इज नित्य But anyway, the means to that we saw what is that? Kamyatum kim? Videhe kamyatto? Uh, Kamana, vishaya, sadhana, bodha kattom. We have seen that earlier. So that is the kamya vidhi. Now, uh, Vedanta vichara hai eva kartavya was mentioned, and this is a niyama vidhi. It's a niyama vidhi. when other means are possible this is the mean prescribed by the shastra now how did one come to know about this because of the vakya shrotavya atmavare drashtavya for darshana jnana atma darshana means atma jnana you cannot objectify atma atma is one's own swarupa so how can one know atma atma darshana atma jnana is possible only through shravana 
then shravana of what of vedanta vakya alone and how did one come to that shrotavya shruti because there is a vidhi as to um, swadhyayo adhyetavya every day one must nitya karma as nitya karma one should chant the veda shakha that one belongs to now this veda shakha has this mantra swadhyayo adhyetavya whereby one knows that vedic chanting has to be done by me so there is an anyonya ashraya now there is a purva paksha to this as to if you know that you have to chant vedas only after chanting vedas then there is anyonya ashraya without chanting vedas you wouldn't know this mantra swadhyayo adhyetavya and without knowing swadhyayo adhyetavya you would not chant it at all especially daily you wouldn't chant it therefore there is an anyonya ashraya there is a dependency there is a mutual dependency so this is an akshepa generally people ask this so it has been refuted in the sampradaya you know there are many who think that i have these questions which nobody has had before it is not true every question that comes to any mind relating to this has been covered one way or the other at one place or another so in the sampradaya it's a living tradition the father tells the son the son becomes the father and tells his son or if he is a brahmachari then the uncle tells so in this manner if you look at as an uncle he would tell his you know his brother's children his sister's children and then the sampradaya continues guru to shishya thereby guru to shishya or parents to son this sampradaya continues and there by this interdependency objection is refuted as to one is asked to undergo upanayana sanskara and chant the vedas there by one will come across swadhyaya adhyetavya then shrotavya shruti and then tattvamasi ityadi mahavakyas so with that background let's move ahead into arthavada vakye rev सॉरी अर्थवाद वाक्य ही अधिकारी ज्ञात शक्य है कर्तव्यता रूप संबंध अस्तु विधिना ज्ञात शक्य है विषय प्रयोजन तो उभयता ज्ञात शक्य प्रथम सूत्र व्यर्थ शंकते नन्वी सो वॉट हेज बीन सेड इज दैट दि फस्ट सूत्र एस्टाब्लिशेज दि अनुबंध चतुष्टया नौ दिस अनुबंध चतुष्टया कैन बी नोन थ्रू श्रुति इट से पूर्व पक्षी एंड इफ इट कैन बी नोन थ्रू दि श्रुति then why would one create a new sutra why would bhagwan vyasacharya vyasacharya create this sutra and how can the anubandha chatushtaya be known anubandha chatushtaya means adhikari vishaya prayojana and sambandha so arthavada vakya hi adhikari nyatum shakyate through arthavada vakya what is an arthavada vakya so there are um, different types of vakyas in the shruti one we already saw as vidhi vakya vidhi vakya is also of various types now if the veda talks about something which is already known so pramana jnate pramana jnate anuvadah if the shruti talks about something that you already know through other means or can no through other means then shruti is not pramana for that for dvaita shruti is not pramana bhagwan bhashyakara says that in brahadarnaka he says that nahi dvaitam upadesharham jata matra prani gamyatvat so he says that dvaita is need not be taught it should not be taught it is not worthy of being taught why because even a newborn knows dvaita even the newborn any prani newborn knows that i am an individual i have a mother the bare minimum one knows is i have a mother and that mother is not me it need not be taught this world outside looking at which the newborn cries 
as soon as the newborn opens the eyes sees the sun definitely that sun is not the newborn child so the child cries looking at the light after so many months of darkness suddenly he sees light and starts crying obviously he knows that the world out there is different from me this need not be taught to anyone it is not worthy of being taught so shruti is not pramana in the case of dvaita jata matra prani gamyatvat therefore what is shruti pramana for shruti is not pramana for anything that you already know or you can know through other means of knowledge therefore pramana jnate anuvadah it is a mere restatement if it contradicts to what you already know then also it is not a pramana then what is it gunavada stutihi pramana virodhe gunavada stutihi if you already know something as not to be so and the shruti glorifies it no it is so then it is gunavada stuti it is just praising then pramana avirodhe if you do not have any pramana virodha it does not contradict whatever you know you already know something it doesn't contradict so then and if the pramana that you have has no business in that area where the shruti talks about so shruti is talking about something where shruti talks about something which you don't have any knowledge of it reveals something and then having revealed it it um, it tells you something that you didn't know so pramana virodhe pramana ajnate cha भूतार्थवादः भूतार्थवादः मींस यथार्थवादः इट इज एज इट इज यथा अयम द करंट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द श्रुति इज ऑल अननोन देयरफॉर द तात्पर्य इज इन स्वार्थ स्वार्थे तात्पर्य सो व्हाट इज अर्थवाद देन सो अर्थवाद विल बी मेंशनड इन द टीका इट सेल्फ फर्दर एज अर्थवाद वाक्यत्व नाम विधि अघटित विधि अघटित सती वैदिक वाक्यत्व सो इट्स नॉट पार्ट ऑफ अ विधि इट इज नॉट अ विधि वाक्य बट इट इज अ वैदिक वाक्य सो दिस अर्थवाद कैन बी ऑफ एनी टाइप भूतार्थवाद यथार्थवाद सो दिस इज दि प्रमाण अविरोधे प्रमाण अज्ञाते च अर्थवाद that kind of a statement is this current statement that we are looking at any vedanta vakya in fact all vedanta vakyas which have no association with karma they are not karmanga are considered to be arthavada by the puru yamsakas and thereby he says is arthavada vakyas themselves can lead you to the anubandha chatushtaya therefore adhikari can be known kartavya tarupa sambandha can be known विधिना ज्ञात शक्य विधि वाक्य कर्तव्यूपसंबंध यू आर दि कर्ता एंड दि श्रवण विधि टेल्स यू दट श्रवण कर्तव्य सो कर्त एंड कर्तव्यता रूप संबंध कैन बी नोन सो अधिकारी कर्ता अधिकारी कैन बी नोन हू वॉन्ट्स अमृतत्व इज दि अधिकारी then kartavyata kartru kartavyata rupa sambandha can be known then vishaya and prayojana tu ubhayata nyatum shakyate and the uh, arthavada vakya and the vidhi both tell you what they both tell you vishaya and prayojana so amrutatva kamyena shravana shravanam kartavya therefore this shravana vidhi can reveal the vishaya also and prayojana also it is telling you the amrutattvam as vishaya aikya which is which is going to come with the arthavada vakya tattvam asi shveta keto so that vishaya is aikya prayojana is phala which is aikya meaning ananta brahma brahma veda brahmaiva bhavati is the phala therefore amrutattvam is the phala so vishaya prayojana also are known through the same vakya either with the vidhi vakya or with the arthavada vakya 
therefore when all the four in the anubandha chatushtaya can be known through the shruti then why do this athato brahma jignasa sutra where you claim that it is to establish anubandha chatushtaya so prathama sutram vyartham iti shankate nanu iti thereby nanu so what is the shankha now the nanu iti This is another problem. So it goes across pages. So it's difficult to. So it's go. It's in the earlier page. How much have we covered in the Mula? Yeah, Tatra we have done. Yeah. So Nanu. अनुबंध जातम विधिसन्निहितार्थवाद वाक्येरेव ज्ञातुम शक्यम सो दी वाक्य व्हिच आर नियर दी विधि एंड देयरफॉर मेक अप दी पार्ट ऑफ दिस विधि वाक्य विद अंगी अंग अंगा अंगी भाव देयर बाय अनुबंध जातम जात हियर इज द ग्रुप दी फोर अनुबंधस कैन बी नोन बाय दी अर्थवाद वाक्य व्हिच आर पार्ट ऑफ दिस विधि एज टू श्रवणम कर्तव्य of what vedanta vakyas therefore vedanta vakyas which are there along with the vidhi those will reveal the anubandha chatushtaya anubandha jata or anubandha chatushtaya tathahi before that tika so but anyway we'll look at the mula itself tathahi tadyatha tadyate ha karma chito loka ha kshiyate evam eva amutra punya chito loka ha kshiyate इति श्रुत्या यत् कृतकं तरनित्यम इति न्यायवत्या न जायते म्रियते वा विपश्चित यो वै भूमा तदमृतम अतो अन्यदार्थम इत्यादि श्रुत्या च भूमात्मा नित्य स्किप मी मोमेंट ओके या सो इत्यादि श्रुत्या च भूमात्मा नित्य ततो अन्यद अनित्यम इति विवेको लभ्यते now who is this adhikari adhikari is one who has sadhana chatushtaya sampatti anubandha chatushtaya has adhikari vishaya prayojana and sambandha so the first one is adhikari who is this adhikari adhikari is sadhana chatushtaya sampanna who has sadhana chatushtaya sampatti and what is sadhana chatushtaya sampatti viveka vairagya shamadi shatka and mumukshutva so these also have to be known to know the adhikari does the shruti tell you yes how so that is quoted first viveka so how do you know how do you have viveka it has been shown here as the shruti tells you the shruti mantra which is what see the last sentence it is a page roll over so tad yathe ha karma chito loka ha kshiyate evam eva amutra punya chito loka ha kshiyate so lokyante iti loka or lokyate iti loka here lokyate anubhuyate iti loka that which can be experienced is called as loka karma chita is karma janya so the karma janya loka eh yatha यथा इह इह व्यवहार भूमो इन दिस लोका द वे दिस एक्सपीरियंस व्हिच इज बोर्न आउट ऑफ कर्म यू डू सम कर्म यू गेट सम रिजल्ट व्हिच इज अनुभव सिद्ध डज इट स्टे विथ यू नो क्षीयते इट इज नॉट नित्य इट इज अनित्य सिमिलरली अमुत्र इन स्वर्गादि लोका where you will have this loka which loka the similar experience which is karma janya you do karma here you will get phala adrushta and thereby some phala sukha dukha elsewhere you are craving for swarga therefore you will do punya karma get punya adrushta and then go to another loka or have experience of another sphere another sphere of experience which is long lasting sukha 
with very less or no dukha but still it is limited so lokakshiyate amutra tatra api anyatra api lokaha kshiyate punya chitaha that is punya janya so that will also go away iti shrutya what do you know then yat krutakam tadanityam so you have this iti nyayavatya iti nyayavatya shrutya that shruti which has tarka within nyaya what is that tarka yadyat krutakam tadanityam yatha ghataha so yadyat krutakam krutakam is karma janyam karyam whatever is a karya is anitya therefore you will have vairagya you will have viveka you will have viveka between this as to nitya and antya viveka is it anitya yes it is anitya what is viveka nitya nitya vastu viveka so all the lokas are what anitya then what is nitya you need to look at that so you have to give away the anitya and thereby viveka is possible discrimination is possible between nitya and anitya through the shruti itself <coughs> na jayate mriyate vipashyate and katopanishad says that na jayate mriyate va vipashyate who is that this vipashyate is vijnani jnani so the jnani vidwan who knows atma na jayate mriyate meaning nitya she is not born he does not die therefore this vidnya uh, this uh, jnani vidwan who is called as vipashyate here in the mantra is nitya the atma is nitya and all the lokas here or elsewhere are anitya therefore nitya anitya vastu viveka is possible yo vai bhuma tadamurtam ata anyad artam ityadi shrutya cha and there are other shrutis also in chandogya yo vai bhuma bhuma is ananta yo vai bhuma tadamurtam that is amruta that is nitya whereas ata anyad artam other than that everything is perishable it is all anitya thereby you have viveka possible through shruti which is the first qualification of an adhikari karmana krishyadina chitah samparita sasyadi lokah bhogya ityartah so what is the meaning of uh, this karmana karmana is through any karma like laukika karma like uh, krishi ityadi so any any job so farming is an example given there so you you know you so something and then at a later time you reap the fruits similarly the karma that you are doing vaidika karma you so something adrishta comes out and then it gives you phala some other time so it is held in your account chitah samparita meaning it is utpadita it is generated janya sasyadhi lokah so krishi will give you what crops so sasyadhi lokah bhogya ityartha the bhogya is a result of karma vipashit who is vipashit nitya jnana swarupa atma jnani then how do you get vairagya knowledge of vairagya which is the second qualification for an adhikari so you get vairagya by so vairagya by this mantra another mantra pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmano nirveda maya nastya krita krutena atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam bhavati ityadi shrutya anatma matre vairagyan labhyate so from this nitya anitya vastu viveka you know atma is nitya you know anatma entire anatma prapancha is anitya therefore from anitya you get vairagya when you hear this mantra as to or something similar pariksha lokan loka you already know as anubhava so pariksha having examined them karma chitan lokan these lokas are all karma janya all anubhavas are the result of some karma you have done in this life or the earlier brahmana nirvedam ayat nirveda is vairagya so nirvedam ayat one should get one would get therefore nirveda maya vairagyam prapnoti ityartah as to what is the hetu nasti akrutah krutena krutena karmana 
through the karma which is performed by you, akrataha mokshaha nasti. This anything that is a result will perish in time. Where here or elsewhere. Then whatever you do through that krutena karmana, akrataha which is not karma janya is not possible. That is moksha. Moksha is not karma janya. So therefore, through any karma you cannot get moksha. Therefore, why would one keep on doing this karma? For the sake of moksha, for the sake of atma, uh, atmananda, for the sake of ananda, anantya which is nitya. Ananda which is nitya, therefore anantya. Why would one do it? Then what should one struggle towards? What is nitya? Vipaschit is nitya. Jnana Sarupa. Thereby, Atmanastu Kamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati. The Vishaya also you are hankering after. Whether it is your spouse, your children, your parents, your friends, your family, your relatives, your the all the wealth in the world that we hanker after, all that is what? It is Priya. Why is it Priya? Atmanastu Kamaya. It makes you happy. Not a general rule for everyone. What is Sukha? Sukha, this Priya, is what is general for everyone. What is general for everyone? You, let's say somebody likes gold, the other one likes diamonds. One who is Vipaschid Jnani, he does not like either. He is happy without any of this. Whereas someone is not happy even if everything is there. So it is not common. The Vishaya is not common. Vishaya changes but happiness is the same across Vishayas which is subjective. What is common is that Atma within. One who has Ananda is common across all these whether the Vishaya is same or not. That Atma is Ananda Swarupa and the Vishaya Ananda is actually Atma Ananda reflecting in the Antakkarana because of the craving for the Vishaya has gone on attaining it. But it doesn't last because there is another craving that comes up whether for same Vishaya or another Vishaya. Therefore, Ananda is not lasting Vishaya Ananda. However, all that is dear for whose sake? The wife or the husband is not dear for the sake of the wife or husband. It is for the sake of the Atma. One is happy with the spouse. Therefore, it is for one's own happiness. Same with the children. We may say that, oh, I know I like my children. I love my children whether or not they love me. If we inquire as to what is the fact, if the children don't love you back, there is definite Dukkha. One may say and try to convince oneself, but there will be Dukkha. Therefore, the love towards the children is also for the sake of making oneself happy. The very idea of, you know, progeny is so that I live through my children. I live a life. Many parents want to give their children a life that they didn't have. They couldn't get. So, they want to do as better as possible, the best as possible for the children. Because it makes them happy. Even if I didn't get the opportunity, my child should get it. It is all what? Making me happy. The child wants to do something else. No, you do this. Because it makes the parent happy. So, Atmanastu Kamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati in Brahadaranika, there is a long section where examples are given and finally established that it, in each one there is a refrain that Atmanastu Kamaya. Atmanastu Kamaya. And then in the end, Atmanastu Kamaya Sarvam Priyam Bhavati. Not for the sake of Sarvam, but for the sake of Atma itself, everything is dear. Ityadi Shrutya Anatma Matre Vairagyan Labhyate. Towards Anatma, there will be Vairagya and there will be attraction towards what? There will be direction change. One will look for the Atma. Pariksha Anityatvena Nishchitya. Pariksha Loka, as we said there, what is this Pariksha that one does having done Pariksha? Anityatvena Nishchitya. Having ascertained that. None of these Anubhavas Loka stay with me. They are Anitya. Akrutha is Moksha. Krutena Karmana Nasti. 
Krutena means karma. Through karma, moksha is not possible. It is not possible to attain. Nahi amrutattva se asha asti vittena. Say, Bhagavan Yajna Valkya to his wives when he wants to leave all the wealth to them and then go. So the wife asks, is there possibility to get Moksha, that Ananda, through all this Vitta, all the wealth that you are leaving behind, he says, no, there is, there is not, even an, not even hope. There is no hope possible, let alone uh, Moksha, but there is no hope of Moksha even through wealth or anything else. It's an Upalakshana. Karma Tat Phalebhyu Vairagyam Prapta Vanityartaha. So, one attained and thereby he becomes an example for others to follow. Follow and pursue nitya, not anitya, pursue atma, not anatma. Okay, vairagya is possible, viveka vairagya is done. What about shamadi shatka sampatti, shamadama, uparati, titiksha, shraddha samadana? How about the six virtues which are talked about as the adhikari to be having or should be having to make him an adhikari? Shanto Danta Uparadas Titikshu Samahita Shraddha Vitto Bhutva Atmanyeva Atmanam Pashed Idishutya Shamadi Shatkan Labhyate Samahito Bhutva Iti Karnava Pataha. So there is a Madhyandina and Karnava Pata of Brahadarnika. In one there is Samahita. In Karnava Pata Samahitaha Bhutva has been mentioned. And in the other there is Shraddha Vitto Bhutva. So what does it mean? Shraddha is talked about in one patha, in another patha, sama, samahitaha, so shraddha samadhana, samahita means samadhana, samahita bhutva means having had samadhana, a focused mind, composed mind, committed mind. Shraddha vitta means shraddha eva vittam yasya, one who has shraddha alone as his wealth, nothing else, he is not looking for any other wealth but only shraddha that is his wealth so these two qualifications to two virtues are possible shantaha danta shanta means shama danta means one who has shama is called as shanta one who has dama is called as danta so there is the pantakkarana control indriya control and then there is also dama meaning the external Organs are under one's control. They are not carried away, hijacked by the Vishayas. Uparatihi. Uparataha means one who has Uparati. Uparati is Uparatihi Sanyasaha. So one who withdraws from the Vishayas, from the sense organs, from the mind which keeps on running around here and there, one has sufficient composure to know that all this is has failed me to reach me to my target across janmas therefore there is uparati there is sanyasa in sampradaya the sanyasa is literal in orthodoxy but at least one has to start somewhere therefore there is at least understanding that one shouldn't follow all of this that one has been doing forever titikshu titikshu is one who has titiksha titiksha is basically Forbearance of opposites. Tan Titikshaswa Bharata says Bhagavan Krishna Gita Acharya to Arjuna. What? The pairs of opposites. Sukadukha and Shitoshna. So Shitoshna one gets affected at the Stula Sharira level and Sukadukha at the Sukshma Sharira level. Therefore they are Upalakshana for everything at the Stula and Sukshma at both levels. Thereby Every thing what is hankering after one is hankering after if you say I like sweet food then someone likes spicy also. So these are pairs of opposites. Towards all of them one should have vairagya. How will that come? Because you have yoga. Whatever it is you forbear. You have samatva bhava. So you strike a balance so that you can focus on important things in life which is what there is only one important thing in life for which we are born there should be purusharthanishchaya out of the four purusharthas the two purusharthas are there with everyone 
not only human beings with birds and animals and insects also so artha and kama are there in every species even the plant which we think that oh maybe nirjeeva it is with jeeva it tries to bend itself and somehow grow to get sunlight each and every and uh, you see plants we eat the fruits and we steal away the vegetables but they are actually storing that is all what it's all karma they they want to keep their future secure just like we want to keep our future secure so they store the food in the form of vegetables and fruits which we pluck away thankfully they they over produce so that you know we can get it and animals anyway animals and birds we know they protect their their infants just like we protect ours so there is no difference in artha and kama so there is kama towards children and then artha so all the security is artha that they they store food for the future the bees collect honey and we take it away all that is what for their own future being secure which is artha wealth is also for that purpose same same thing wealth is, artha is not literally wealth whatever serves the purpose of wealth is all artha kama is desire towards anything so they also have desire to procreate they have desire to you know Uh, fulfill uh, their hunger with various means if they also have a choice in food thereby dharma and moksha are the only additions for human beings and dharma is which will guide the person to moksha which is the real purushartha how so by following artha by fulfilling artha and kama using dharma so if a human being does not give in to the animal instinct which is there because of being an animal early in earlier lives has the instinct of plants also of all types of human beings all types of devatas all types of rakshasas also because they have been ananta janmas one has been a king as well as a beggar there is nothing new to pursue in this janma Oh, I want to be this. You have been that. It has not given you nitya, akrtaha moksha. None of it has given you. No, oh, I would. I dream to be this. You have dreamed that earlier. Either you have been or failed. But it has not given you anything. Therefore, purushartha being moksha, which is ananda rupa, and none of it has. given you then what should you do you should use dharma to gain artha and kama the fulfillment of kama and fulfillment of artha if it is done through dharma then it paves the path for moksha which is the parama purushartha and then being parama purushartha once chitta shuddhi is there one knows that it is the only purushartha there is no other purushartha so purushartha nischaya takes place so viveka vairagya is there samadhi shatka sampatti is there what is remaining samadhi shatkan labhyate then you add this this four shanto samadama uparati and titiksha from the earlier patha of bradharnika mean madhyandina patha then shraddha also from there and then you take sama samadhan samahito bhutva being composed so samadhana from the kanva pata so you have six virtues uparati sanyasa then nasa punaravartate iti svayam jyotir anandatmaka mokshasya nityatva shrutya muksha labhyate the fourth qualification is mumukshutvam so how does that one get mumuksha mumukshutvam so there is nasa punaravartate once one gets brahma jnana or even brahma loka so krama mukti is also possible iti swayam jyotihi anandatmaka mokshasya nityatva shrutya that swayam jyoti shruti says what this moksha which is ananda atmaka ananda swarupa 
ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಸ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತತೆ ಒನ್ ವುಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಜನ್ಮ ಅಗೇನ್ ನ ಆವರ್ತತೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅವತರಣ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅವತಾರ ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅವತಾರ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಂಶ ಆಸ್ ಸೋ ಟು ಸೇ ಅಂಶ ನಸ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತತೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಶುತ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಲಭ್ಯತೆ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇಚ್ಛಾ ವಿಲ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಕಮ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೀಕಾ ಸೊ ಟೀಕಾ ಸೇಸ್ ಕೃತಕಂ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಕೃತಕಂ ತದ ಅನಿತ್ಯಂ ನ್ಯಾಯವತ್ಯ ಶ್ರುತ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇತಿ ನ್ಯಾಯವತ್ಯ ಶ್ರುತ್ಯ ಕೃತಕ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಕೃತಕಂ ತದ ಅನಿತ್ಯಂ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಕಾರ್ಯ ತದ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯಂ ಲೋಕ್ಯತೆ ಅನುಭೂಯತೆ ಇತಿ ಲೋಕ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೋಕ ಸಸ್ಯಾದಿ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ನಿರ್ವೇದ ಇಸ್ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯಂ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಎ ವಿತ್ತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ವಿತ್ತ ಸಮಾಹಿತ ಏಕಾಗ್ರ ಚಿತ್ತ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಐ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಏಕಾಗ್ರ ಚಿತ್ತ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶಮಾದಿ ಷಟ್ಕಂ ವಿವೇಕ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ನನು ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಿವೇಕಾದಿ ವಿಶೇಷಣಾನಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯಂತೆ ನ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ವೇರ್ ಟು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅನುಬಂಧ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಗೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೂತ್ರ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿವೇಕಾದಿ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಇಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ ದಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ವಿವೇಕಾದಿ ದಿ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಚತುಷ್ಟಯ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ಆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ವೇರ್ ಟು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷ ಉಭಯತ್ರ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ವಾಕ್ಯಭೇದ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಇತ್ಯಾಶಂಕೆ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಧರ್ಮತ್ವನ ಧರ್ಮಿಣ ವಿನ ಸತ್ವಾ ಸಂಭವ ಧರ್ಮಿ ರೂಪಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾತ ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ವೈದ್ಯ ತಥಾಚೇತಿ ಯಥೇತಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಿ ವೆಲ್ ಟು ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ then your mimamsa has failed so this is something that the puro pakshi is assuming that the siddhanti would come up with the siddhanti will say adhikari is not talked about therefore sutra is important it has to be it has to be presented by it has to be taught to the shishyas because adhikaritvam is not known otherwise if visheshanas are known vivekadi ಸಾಧನ ಚತುಷ್ಟ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಸೇಸ್ ನೋ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ನೋನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಶ್ರುತಿ
कैन दीज धर्म दीज आर ऑल विशेषण आर ऑल धर्म विवेक वैराग्य समाधि षटक मुमुक्षुत्व दीज आर ऑल धर्म वेर विल दे रेस्ट धर्म कैनॉट बी फ्लोटिंग इन दी एयर दे आर रेस्टिंग इन दी धर्मी सो विदउट दी धर्मी धर्मी नम विना सत्वा संभवा केशा धर्मा विशेषण नाम दीज विशेषण धर्म कैनॉट एक्सिस्ट विदउट दी धर्मी दे आर इन दी धर्मी दे शुड बी इन दी धर्मी देर फोर धर्मी रूपाधिकारी च अर्थात ज्ञात शक्यते नॉट एवरीथिंग शुड बी सेट बाय श्रुति नो स्पून फूडिंग स्पीडिंग मीट नीड टू बी डन इफ दी श्रुति सेज दीज आर ऑल क्वालिफिकेशन देन वन हू हेज दैट इज अ क्वालिफाइड पर्सन दिस इज इम्प्लाइड आह तथा तथा च विवेकादि विशेषण वन अधिकारी ज्ञात शक्यम इन दी मूल इन दी व्याख्या देर फोर विवेकादि विशेषण वन धर्म वन धर्मी अधिकारी ज्ञात शक्यम वन कैन नो दैट दिस कैंड ऑफ अ पर्सन इज एन अधिकारी थ्रू दि श्रुति इट से देन वाई डू यू नीड दिस सूत्र यथा यथा इन दी व्याख्या यथा जयता रात्रि रूपयती रात्रि सत्र विदो प्रतिष्ठती अर्थवाद स्थ प्रतिष्ठा काम स्तवत सो देर इज अ श्रुति दैट दी पूर्व पक्षी ब्रिंग्स इन टू एस्टाब्लिश हाउ दी अधिकारी इज अर्थाज्ञात अर्थात मीन्स हाउ दी अधिकारी इज इम्प्लाइड वेन दी अधिकारी विच इज दी विशेषण और धर्म विवेकादी साधन चतुष्ट is talked about then how the adhikari is as well known through implication for that he gives the puro mimamsa example ya eta ratri rupayanti so ratri is ratri satra there is some karma called as ratri satra goes on for many nights so that shruti says what ya eta it is also arthavada vakya because what is an arthavada vakya it is vidhi aghatita is this a vidhi vakya no you don't see any vidhi vakya there as to you do this there is no tavya aniyara or there is no vidhiling or lot there ya eta ratri upayanti and why is it an arthavada vakya because all lat can also be interpreted as vidhiling every lat lakara is also vidhiling for puro mimamsaka means if veda talks about something in lat lakara also it is vidhiling then there is no phala mentioned there however is there any phala mentioned here ye eta ratri rupayanti those who do this ratri satra karma that's all has been mentioned there is no phala there it is no vidhi as to you do this amrutatva kamena so ye is just anyone but adhikari is known how is one it known the mantra is actually saying that pratitishtanti upayanti रात्रि सत्र विधौ प्रतिष्ठती अर्थवाद प्रतिष्ठा काम स्तवत सो वॉट इज सेट देर इज दैट प्रतिष्ठती इन दैट रात्रि सत्र विधि वन इज कमिटेड एंड देन वॉट इज द रिजल्ट प्रतिष्ठती वन विल गेट प्रतिष्ठा वन विल गेट यू नो वन विल गेट whatever one is looking for the excellence one will get that one will get lot of mahima lot of prasiddhi this is the meaning there pratitishtha the pratishtha one will get pratishtha this is the idea who will get pratishtha those who perform this ratri satra yajna iti arthavadastha pratishtha kamah tadvat so ratri satra vidhi tells you as to what being an arthavada vakya then vishwajit nyaya will apply vishwajita yajeta iti vat yatra vidhi vakya phala phalam na uktam the vidhi vakya does not have phala therefore it is what it is arthavada vakya in this arthavada vakya just like the arthavada vakya that we are dealing with in vedanta in karma kanda also arthavada vakya how do you interpret that where the phala is not mentioned the phala is taken from elsewhere if the phala is mentioned as a glorification in that very mantra then at least that phala should be taken that is vishwajit nyaya uh, uh, 
that is uh, with vishwajit nyaya with vishwajit nyaya you take the swarga as phala but then this is not vishwajit nyaya so vishwajit yagna where phala is not mentioned there what do you get there there is no phala in arthavada vakya also there through vishwajit nyaya you have to take the main phala main phala means everyone wants sukha sarvan prati avishishtatva kasya swargasya sukha rupa swargasya this sukha is sought after by everyone therefore swarga being sukha rupa swarga will be the phala in which case in through vishwajit nyaya in the case of just like it is applicable in the case of vishwajit vishwajita yajet one should do yajna through vishwajit vishwajit one should do this vishwajit karma and what is the result no result is mentioned is an arthavada it is an arthavada vakya but it's a vidhi in that vidhi the phala is not mentioned therefore it is an arthavada but there is no phala elsewhere also in the vicinity then which is the phala that phala will be swarga main phala itself will be there because shruti cannot give you something to do without a result if the result is not mentioned and can is not found in the vicinity then the result will be swarga however this ratri satra has a has a nearby statement of arthavada which gives a phala so there pratishtha rupa phala is mentioned one will get pratishtha that is arthavada even if it is arthavada since the phala is mentioned then at least that phala should be taken it is not swarga it is not swarga which will be one get by ratri satra but at least that that phala should accrue it is not that no phala will be there therefore pratishtha one who has kama towards pratishtha will become the adhikari because pratishtha is the phala if pratishtha is the phala then ratri satra one who will do one who wants pratishtha will do that not swarga one who wants pratishtha here and now or sometime in this life or he wants in this bhumi he wants it then he will do this karma therefore adhikari is known as well so you apply the ratri satra nyaya take arthavada phala and this arthavada phala whoever wants is an adhikari this is how purva mimamsakas have worked on it and they have established vishwajit nyaya and ratri satra nyaya in this case vishwajit nyaya does not apply meaning swarga is not the result the arthavada vakya pratitishta is the result therefore one who wants pratitishta he will do this karma he will become an adhikari towards this karma other adhikaritvam is there which is general but this is very specific to this yaga so ratri satra nyaya gives you arthavada phala and one who wants arthavada phala is an adhikari similarly here tadvat 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 means what amrutatva kamena so amrutatva kamaha adhikari amrutatvam is phala by arthavada vakya and amrutatvam being phala one who wants amrutatvam is the adhikari tadvat tika pratitishtanti havay eta ratri rupayanti iti vakyam only the part is quoted ya eta ratri rupayanti so this much is vidhi ya eta ratri rupayanti as quoted in the vyakhya but what is the complete vakya in this the vidhi sannita vakya is what pratitishtanti hava so pratitishtanti havaya eta ratri rupayanti iti vakyam in that pratitishtanti has been mentioned you cannot discard this this is an arthavada that arthavada rupa phala will accrue accrue to one who wants pratishtha therefore he is an adhikari and thereby does ratri satra yaga asya artha what is the meaning pratitishtanti pratitishtha santi ityartah so pratitishtanti means pratitishtha santi it is to be read with the san pratya sannirichharte san therefore pratishtham praptum ichchanti iti yavat this sa pratya is san pratya ichcharte san so pratitishtha santi pratitishtanti means pratitishtha santi pratishtham praptum ichchanti one who desires this pratishtha to attain pratishtha iti yavat that is the idea upayanti ityatra upeyu riti videhe parinamah so the lat lakara is to be converted into ling lakara to understand what the shruti means it's a vidhi therefore this 
यता रात्रि उपयंती इज अ विधि वाक्य फॉर हुम फॉर दी अधिकारी हु इज प्रतिष्ठा प्रतिष्ठा प्राप्तुम इच्छु हु देयरफॉर अधिकारी इज एज वेल नोन सिमिलरली हियर सो ये प्रतिष्ठा प्राप्तुम इच्छन्ति ते रात्रि सत्राख्यानि कर्माणि कुर्यु हु इति अस्य अर्थ अस्य मन्त्रस्य अर्थः देयरफॉर प्रतिष्ठा कामः यथा अधिकारी तद्वद इत्यन्वयः Similarly, just like in Yayeta Ratri Rupayanti Pratitishtanti Hava Yayeta Ratri Rupayanti Ityatra Vakke Yatha Adhikari Tadvata Just like Adhikari is known there, similarly Adhikari can be known here in Vedanta Vakke also, in Vedanta Arthavada Vakke also. So, Aham Brahmasmi Ityadina Vidhisannita Vakke Na Shrotavya is a Vidhi Vakke. किम श्रोतव्यम मया इफ वन इज इंक्वायरिंग इन टू दिस देन ही विल फाइंड द वाक्य नियर बाय अहम ब्रह्मास्मी सो अहम ब्रह्मास्मी इज अ वाक्य इत्यादि विधि सन्नीत वाक्य इट इज इट इज नियर दी विधि विधि देयरफॉर इट इज विधि सन्नीत वाक्य एंड इट इज अर्थवाद वाक्य बिकॉज़ फला इज नॉट क्लियर देयर एज टू व्हाट इज द फला सो इज द फला इज देयर Brahmaveda Brahmaiva Bhavati, Aham Brahmasmi, I am Brahma. One who has that knowledge will become Brahma. Becoming is figurative. He knows that he is already Brahma. He never was a Brahma. There is nothing called as a Brahma. There is only Brahma. And he has already been, ever been Brahma. So, Aham Brahmasmi Ityadina Vidhisannita Vakyana Siddham Brahmatmaikya Rupam. It is already Siddha. It is not something to attain afresh. So, Siddham Brahmaikya Rupam Vishayam Sadhayati. So, that Vishaya is what? It is Brahmatmaikya Rupa Vishaya. And the Vidhi is what? Aham Brahmasmi Vidhi Tattumasi Ityadi Shrutyoho Ekavakyatvaya Dadhyayacha Paramparaya Vidhi Topi Sadhayati. So, Vishayam Sadhayati Iti Anvaya. Establish this Vishaya also, Adhikari is possible, now Vishaya is possible. How is Vishaya possible? He established that Tathashrotavya. So this Aham Brahmasmi, Tattvamasi, all these Vakyas, Shruti Vakyas, Shrutyo Eka Vakyatvaya, whether it is Aham Brahmasmi or Tattvamasi or the other Maha Vakyas, they all have commitment in one entity which is Brahmatma and it is showing the Aikya, it is establishing by showing the Aikya that there is only one entity and that entity is you. Dardhyayaja and then you go across various shakhas or in the same shakha multiple Upanishads you will find these Mahavakyas where Aikya is talked about, therefore it becomes established and Dardhyaya it also becomes firm in the mind that this is the Vishaya. Dardhyaja paramparaya vidhito api sadhayati. So, vishayam sadhayati paramparaya vidhita api sadhayati. You know through the arthavada vakya and you know through the vidhi vakya also as to this is the vishaya. So, vishaya adhikari vishaya can also be known. Tathashrotavya ityadina. So, tathashrotavya. We will look at this in the next part. यम्य कारुणिक शरण गतरी सहोदरापमहत्पम तमाशु हरि परमाश्रे जनक जागमन सुखाकृति एनी क्वेश्चन नमस्ते नेक्स्ट पार्ट